to Busy Minds Tutorials and Entertainment. My name is Osifo Alende and today we want to learn how to create a CD or DVD label. So let's jump right into it. So you can see here my Photoshop is open and the first thing you want to do is to come over to the top left corner here and you click on new on, on file. After clicking file you come down to the first one here which is new. You want to create a new layer so you a new document I mean click on new this download box will open so this is the width this is the height so first thing you want to do you want to change this to centimeter so you come down to centimeter you can see they are now centimeter so if they are not 12 you can change it sometimes when you open up you open it you because the reason why you see 12 appear here automatically on the width and height is because the last time I, I did a tutorial on centimeter, I used 12 by 12. But when you change yours from any other one to centimeter, you might see other numbers. So you have to change it to 12. So you can see I have 12 here. here too. So what we need is 12 centimeter for the width and 12 centimeter for the height. Make sure this resolution is 300. You can you might see 72. So you, all you need to do is just to highlight it and change it to 300. So what we need is 300. And for this, you might see uh, ROGB color and all that, but what we need is CMYK color. So this is what you need. Then the, the background content should be white. So you can see the setting. This is all we need for the setting. You can change the name, rename it, and all that, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Now click OK. You can see a new document has been created for us. You can see our document here has been created. So now that we have this document, we want to create that this, the, the real label that will be uh, that you'll be pasted on the CD or DVD. So let's create this. To create that, we have to create a new layer. So you come down here, come up here, go to layer, click on this, then click on new, then come down, come to new, click on new. You can name it, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this. You can give it a name, maybe circle or something. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll click okay now if you look down here on the layer panel you'll see that our new layer with the transparent background transparent background has been created and is placed above our background layer make sure it's like this and it's selected like this so to create the circle now let's come down to this come to this this icon here i think it's the second one here click on it then you select this elliptical mark with two this one click on it now that you've clicked on this you come down to the style change it from normal click on it you'll see these options change it from this normal to fixed size the moment you do that this width and height field will come up you will see 12 like in my own case like I said I've done this tutorial before though I did not record it so that's why you're seeing all the size the last size the last uh, uh, measurement I use appeared here but in your own case when you change it to centimeter you might see other other numbers so all you have to do is to highlight it like this highlight it and put in the number uh, both for the height and for the weight so in my own case I have 12 centimeter by 20 centimeter I think that's all I need for this one so now that that is correct the next thing you want to do now is to hold down shift on your keyboard hold down shift when you hold down shift now I've hold down shift then then all you have to do now is to left click on your mouse after left clicking hold down on that mouse button don't release it then move it after you have uh, left um, left click hold down on the mouse then begin to move the circle you have just created move it to put it inside the box make sure it's seated properly inside the box don't release your hand from the mouse yet make sure it's seated properly still try to do it make sure it's seated properly okay i think it's okay now it's okay now that is okay so so when you know it's okay the first thing you want to do is to 
release your mouse your hand from the mouse first don't release your left finger from the um sheet key release your hand from the mouse first so i've released my hand from my mouse and the last thing is to release your finger from the shift key so i've released both my hands from the so you have your perfect circle so the next thing you want to do we want to separate we want to make sure this is the outside of the circle and this is the inside of the circle so to do this the next thing you want to do now is to come down to select click on select here then you come down to this inverse click on inverse the moment you do that you will see everywhere is highlighted you can see all this line so it's now differentiated we have the outside and we have the inside circle so we want to differentiate them let's give this outside area uh, a different color so let's go to uh, paint bucket so you click on paint bucket you can choose any color you want but I'm just going to choose uh, something like this click OK then you come to that outside click on it you can see it's not differentiated then you then to take off these lines these lines you're seeing you come down to the select as well click on select then you click on deselect you can see we have a perfect circle now this is our label inside here okay now that we have this we want to create that uh, so if you want to remove this so you click this select so we want to create that little circle you normally see in cds the little circle so to do that for us to we need to have a guide that will guide us on how to measure it so we, let's come to view come to new guide vertica you give it a six centimeter you say six centimeter you click ok you can see the line has appeared here so, okay let's go back again and create the second line the horizontal line you click on new guide again this time you move it from vertical to horizontal then you now type in the six centimeter you click ok you can see this is the horizontal line and this is the vertical line so now from this now we can create the little this is the center now we can create the the little circle you see in the middle of cities so now to do that all we have to do is to go back to this click on this click on the elliptical tool again then you come to this area then you change this to one one point five type in one point five here you do the same thing for here to highlight it and say 1.5 after clicking that you can hit enter on your keyboard after hitting enter then you hold down on your shift key again hold it down then click on your mouse you can see the circle has been created then don't release your hand from the shift key or the mouse you move it just the way you did with this with the major circle so you move it while holding down on your mouse you move it we want to measure it to put it properly so you look for the circle properly i think this is the perfect i think this is good i want to move it down a bit i think i'm okay with this the first thing again you release your hand on um the mouse first and before you now release your hand from the shift key now that you've done this you can see is now done so all you want to do now is to click on your paint bucket this then you paint on the inside of this see what you did after releasing our hand from the shift key and the uh, on our mouse all we have to do is to come to the paint bucket and click on the paint bucket choosing our color then you click on the inside to create this so the next thing you want to do now is to come to select again we want to remove these lines then we click on select this is the select you can see we have our perfect circle the one on the inside and all that so the next thing we want to do is to click on this to remove this pen pocket icon on your cursor click this 
then let's remove this line this guide what you have to do is to place your mouse on it drag it away come to this one to the horizontal one drag it away you can see we have this now we are done with our circle so the next thing we want to do you can begin to bring your pictures and pull to it so to bring in a picture for an example so let's just say file open let's go to our desktop and look for a picture to use so i have one folder called tutorial click on this and uh, tutorial photo so let's just bring it this click on this and click open Okay, so the picture is loading now this is the picture i want to use this is the picture here and this is our work here so what we want to do you open the documents is open you come to this picture click on it and drag it here drag it to our layer here and release your mouse then you <coughs> place your mouse inside the picture and drag it inside the document see our picture has appeared but it's too it's too large for the document so what you have to do we want to resize it you click on control on your keyboard then you click control t when you click control t it will bring up these handles on your pictures then you hold down on your shift key you hold down on your shift key then you begin to resize the picture so that it will resize properly so you drag it you drag it you begin to resize it just begin to resize it so if you want to now that you've dragged it to this point if you want to drag the picture to this area you release your hand from the shift key then you bring the picture up then before you resize the picture again press down on your shift key then you resize it like this you can see what I'm doing now resize it so but make sure you always if you want to release your finger from the shift key make sure you first release your finger from the mouse button so that everything will go smoothly so you can see it's on top of our picture but i think this picture is um so let's just um i, I think this picture is not too nice for this let's just change the picture let's delete this picture and bring in a, a more suitable picture that has a background so that we can begin to see the we can begin to see the let's delete this picture from the layer delete so let's go and look for a more suitable picture and we can use for this uh, let's go to um, I have my photos and let's go to Photoshop Photoshop projects. Yeah, I can look for. Um, go to my library. I think I should use. Um, Busy Mind logo. Let's just use this one. Oh, let me just use this picture. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's click on our document, hold down, click, click on our document, then drag the into our layer. Then we drag it into the document as well. So let's click on Control T to highlight it. So let's let's enlarge it now. Click on Shift and drag. It's not gonna look nice, but let's just use it just for an example. You can see our picture is so well place. Now that you have it, you can click on this. So you can minimize this to you can see this is not how we want it. But you make sure whatever you want to put on the label, you make sure it's under your circle, it's not above. You can see the picture is above this circle. So all you have to do is to drag whatever you want to put on the label. Make sure it's not above. If not, it's going to cover up the, the, the old document and cover your circle. So you drag, instead of you drag this one down or you bring this circle up. The circle should be the one on top. So you can see I've dragged it. 
can you see now my picture is under so whatever you want to type if you want to put in text make sure everything is under this circle this circle should be the one on top this is for example you want to type in uh, some text let's say um, you want to type some text let's say new layer new new now we have uh, this is the layer and yeah, let's type in some things in the layer So let's type in some 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 random test to let's say um busy mind so let's just say busy mind busy mind so let's uh, change the character here let's use a big uh, whatever mm, let me just use um impact use this impact bring it here so let me just give it a font let me give it um let me give this so you can see if you bring it anywhere you can bring it here you can bring it here but make sure it's displayed so that's how you basically create a CD you can resize it control T to resize it bring it so you can stroke you can give it a stroke Okay, double tap, double click on this. This is stroke. You can increase the stroke by clicking on the stroke. You click on the stroke, then you increase the size. So you can just leave it like this. Click OK. So that's how you basically. So what you do now is to save. Click save. If you want to go and print it out, so you can stick it on your CD or your DVD, you can. Come here and say save as save it as a JPEG. JPEG. The format you can just name it um my label. You can just name it, sorry, you just name it my label, my CD label, my CD label. You choose where to save it. Make sure you, you know you have to save it maybe in your picture folder and all that. Can you see then you click save? Then it will save in your folder. So when you take this to a printer and you print it out, the document will come out like this. So all you have to do is to trim it. You have to trim it to this size. All this is the outside. You don't need all this area. When you print it, they will trim it for you. So this is the the CD exactly the CD document you'll be pasting on the CD. So that's how you basically create a CD or DVD label. Send to CD or DVD. This is the label you create. So thank you very much for being with me today and make sure you subscribe.